year is 1952, and the Russian space program sends a top-secret mission into space. The only crew member is an ordinary tabby cat. She was picked for this mission because she was not easily excitable, and her body could withstand the rigors of space flight. Not long into the flight, the ship's computer malfunctions, and the mission is given up as lost. awakens briefly after the impact, long enough to realize that she is not on Earth before drifting into a dreamless sleep. She awakes again to find herself in a medical lab. She is used to places like this from her training. What is unfamiliar is the doctors. What is your name? Can you tell me where it hurts? Where did you come from? Says the calico doctor. replies Guadalupe, for that is the astronaut cat's name. The two doctors decide to put her through a cat scan to see why she does not speak like they do. This cat is not from our planet, Dr. Boots. Her anatomy is that of our ancestors. I suspect that she is from a planet called Earth, says the Calico Doctor. The other doctor replies, We must decide what to do with this space cat, Dr. Patches, and tell our people immediately. As doctors Boots and Patches are well-respected scientists, all of the top cats of the planet gather to hear their findings on the mysterious space cat. I know that some of you are frightened by the space cat, and that some of you believe that she was sent here to guide us. But she is neither a demon nor an angel, says Dr. Boots. She most closely resembles what we once were like long, long ago, adds Dr. Patches. This space cat came from a planet called Earth, which is near our prison planet of Mars. She appears to have been on an experimental space flight and was marooned on our planet. Her ship is beyond repair. The dominant species on Earth is not cats, but something completely different. She poses no threat to our society. Like our ancestors, says Dr. Boo. She cannot speak like we do, and will only live a few more short years. Already she is becoming homesick and listless. I believe that if she stays here, she will not last even that long. We propose that the space cat should be given the drug Casalon, which will extend her life another 50 years. It will also increase her intelligence tenfold, adds Dr. Patches. We also propose that a specially designed spaceship be constructed so that we may send her home to Earth. So she was given the Casalon and put on her ship. Dr. Patches, I hope that we have done the right thing. And so, a frightened Guadalupe blasts off into space. As Guadalupe once more stands on the ground of her own planet, she is happy, yet saddened, that she will never return to the planet of the cats.